ground was really set in a way by the people who had helped us realize that we didn't have to follow what our elders told us if we really didn't think it was right. I couldn't get naked on somebody's front lawn um, and get myself arrested. It wasn't my style, but I really admired that. For the distant dark planet names, I word woman, I spell it away! Mega, 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 death bomb in my head! operation of the machine becomes so odious, makes you so sick at heart that you can't take part. But I always thought that what we were doing was a patriotic act. Who has always been out there, old crazy coots that keep out on the edge of where civilization is gone? I think a lot of this comes from Cassidy and from Kerouac. Cassidy was our driver. He, he knew that this was going to be the best stage he was ever going to have to do his number. Never mind all that reflection. Let's see who we are. Let's turn the thing on as bright as it'll go and then see what kind of shadow we cast. I put my back toward the screen and then spun and let the momentum carry the panel through the screen and window with a ripping crash. The glass splashed out in the moon like a bright, cold water baptizing the sleeping earth. I put my hand on the sill and vaulted after the panel into the moonlight. Mr. Casey, do you feel that you have the right to do what you want, whatever you want, and still live in this world? I feel that a man has the right to be as big as he feels it in him to be. This is the death of Neil Cassidy at San Miguel de Allende, where he, he died walking along the railroad tracks after getting stoned and whatever, you know, uppers and downers at the same time. He wasn't destined to grow old. He was always young and he always will be. A hundred years ago, he would have been on, on a horse, but his, his hot rod was his horse. Delicate eyes that blinked blue Rockies, all ash. Nipples, ribs I touched with my thumb, or ash. Mouth my tongue touched once or twice, all ash. Our existence is so brief, as we understood it, that it becomes more poignant, and more emotionally uh, rich. Uh, knowing that uh, it's like a dream that is already finished, as Kerouac once said. Life is a dream already over. Jack uh, suddenly one morning had a hemorrhage. Apparently brought on by uh, years and years of consuming alcohol which I guess is the typical uh, alcoholic's death. America, by his day, was sick. Hard-heartedness had taken over. So I would say America broke his heart. You just have to read the reviews of his books in those days. You know, he was put down. It was as a, you know, like, knifed, and, uh, and yet he was uh, writing about enthusiasm and delight, and, and he was being treated like some juvenile delinquent. Now, Jack, <clears throat> Mr. Kerouac, to what extent do you believe that the beat generation is related to the, to the hippies? Oh, what, just... what do they have in common? Was this an evolution from the one to the other? It's just the older ones. Yeah. See, I'm 46 years old. These kids are 18. It's the same movement, which is apparently some kind of Dionysian movement in late civilization. 
in which I uh, did not intend any more than, I suppose, Dionysius did, or whatever his name was. <laughs> hey, that was good, wasn't it? <laughs> good all the time, boy. <laughs> I give that man a drink. 